ഹായ് ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് ദ എം സി ക്യൂസ് ഓഫ് അൾട്രാസോണോഗ്രഫി വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ് ടു സെഷൻസ് ഫോർ അൾട്രാസോണോഗ്രഫി ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ സെഷൻ വിൽ ബി ദ കണ്ടിന്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് പാർട്ട് ടു so those who have not yet watched have a watch to these two sessions since it will be more clear if you are watching these sessions after watching part 1 and part 2 and those who have not joined any of my whatsapp groups can uh, just join these groups if you are interested you can just mail me or uh, uh, whatsapp me i'll be giving my mail address as well as my whatsapp number in my description box so the, all these groups i have already discussed all those things in my previous video it is related with radiographers coaching nhs interview special uh, hcpc uk registration ireland coru registration and canadian certification groups those so those who wish to join any of these groups can just whatsapp me or mail me and those who need any of the licensing exam study material also can just mail me or whatsapp me so patiently watch till the end and stay till we begin part 3 tutoring of ultrasonography moving on to the 21st question the following are properties of ultrasound waves as applied in medical imaging except option a they are longitudinal option b they are acoustic option c they are electromagnetic and option d they depend upon the medium through which it propagates so the answer is option c they are electromagnetic moving on to the 22nd question false about piezo electric effect which is not true about piezo electric effect option a convert electrical energy to mechanical energy and vice versa option b transducer are not affected by temperature option c lead zirconite titanate is the active element option d the piezo electric material is the material that produces diagnostic ultrasound so the answer is option b transducers are not affected by temperature Question number 23 the fetal heart rate is calculated in USG using option A A mode option B B mode option C C mode and option D is M mode these are the different modes used in ultrasonography A means amplitude B is the brightness and M is the motion mode so the fetal heart rate is calculated the answer is option d m mode so let's see the explanation m mode is defined as the time motion display of the ultrasound wave along a chosen ultrasound line question number 24 what direction is the motion of particles in a longitudinal wave option a motion of particle is parallel to the axis of wave propagation option b the motion of particle is perpendicular to the axis of wave propagation option c the motion of particles travel counter clockwise eclipse to the axis of wave propagation option d is motion of particles travel to the surface of vibration particles so the answer is option a motion of particle is parallel to the axis of wave propagation moving on to the next question question number 25 acoustic impedance depends on option a the intensity of the ultrasound wave option b the elasticity of the tissue option c tissue density and option d is tissue temperature the answer is option c tissue density so let's see the explanation acoustic impedance is a physical property of tissue acoustic impedance depends on the density of the tissue the speed of the sound wave so the density of the tissue in kilogram and the speed of the sound wave in meter per second moving on to the next question question number 26 what determines the transducer frequency selection for diagnostic ultrasound option a intensity and resolution 
option b intensity and propagation speed option c scattering and impedance and option d is resolution and penetration so the answer is option d resolution and penetration so the transducer frequency selection depends upon the resolution as well as the penetration so let's see the explanation the information in an ultrasonic image is influenced by the physical process underlying propagation reflection and attenuation of the ultrasound waves in tissue moving on to the next question question number 27 which of the following improves sound transmission from the transducer element into the tissue option a matching layer option b doppler effect option c coupling medium and option d both a and c the answer is both a and c so let's see the explanation the purpose of the matching layer to increase the efficiency of sound transfer between element and body the next purpose is to protect the active element next let's see the purpose of the coupling medium it eliminates the air layer between the transducer and the skin enabling efficient passage of sound waves so this coupling medium we use usually use in ultrasound is the gel that gel eliminates the air layer between the transducer and the skin which enabling the efficient passage of the sound waves question number 28 what is the average speed of ultrasound in human soft tissue option a 1540 meter per second option b is 15400 meter per second option c is 1540 feet per second and option d is 154000 meters per minute the answer is option a 1540 meters per second question number 29 ultrasound have typical properties except option a transducer have fixed frequencies option b continuous wave ultrasound have the transmitter and receiver the same option c it is a longitudinal wave and option d the unit of frequency is hertz the answer is option b continuous wave ultrasound have the transmitter and receiver the same so let's see the explanation continuous wave doppler utilizes continuous transmission and reception of ultrasound waves it is accomplished by two dedicated transducer element one that solely sends a signal and the another that only receives question number 30 the region of the ultrasound beam from the focus to beam divergence is called which of the following option a fraunhofer zone option b fresnel zone option c focal zone and option d is divergent zone the answer is option a fraunhofer zone so let's see the explanation the far field or fraunhofer zone the far zone is a region that starts at the focus and extends deeper within the far zone the beam diverges and spreads out so you are all happy with today's session in the session ellavarkum manasila ennu vishwasikkunnu so with that i am coming to the end of today's session as i say always please if you like my video share among your friends colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon too so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading so sunday is a day for me to upload new new videos so stay tuned till next sunday until then stay safe stay healthy and stay